Okay, in this video, we're going to go over how you find the coordinates on a unit circle if you know the number of radians that you have. Okay, so remember the coordinates will give you something like, you know, 1001, zero, zero, one, that sort of thing. Just as a reference, remember that a coordinate on a unit circle always has a radius of 1. So the coordinate right here, the, probably one of the easiest ones, would be that it be at 1, 0. All right, but what about where the radian is like pi over 4 or 4 thirds uh, pi or 5 pi over 6? How do you find the coordinates there? So basically one of the first things we need to do is to figure out what kind of degrees are represented at, at those particular locations. Then you determine what kind of special triangles are represented by those degrees. And then you determine what quadrant you're in. And I'll show you why here in just a sec. So let's start with this first one, pi over 4. We know that the formula for changing radians to degrees is the number, is the radian itself. So in this case, pi over 4 divided by pi times 180 will give you the number of degrees at that location. Okay? So let's go ahead and solve this. So we have a fraction divided by a fraction, and let me make pi a fraction. So it's just pi over 1. And when you have that, you multiply by the reciprocal, don't you? So pi over 4 times 1 over pi times 180 will give you the number of degrees, at, again, at that location. Those cross out, we, and you get 1 times 180 divided by 4, again, number of degrees, and that will give you 45 degrees at that location, okay? So now that we know, we've got a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, because if this is 45 degrees here, we're just going to drop that straight down, and we'll get a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. So let me just go ahead and write that down there real quickly, just like that. Not perfect, but you get the idea. So we went to here. That corresponds to there. We just dropped a line straight down to the x-axis. This is my radius, so the hypotenuse will be the radius. Let me just move this up a little bit so you can see it better. There we go. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So the radius would be the hypotenuse. The distance along this side will be the x-axis. The distance along this side is the y-axis or the y-value. So what do we know about this 45 45 degree triangle. Well, remember, we know that the formula <clears throat> for finding each of these is this will be A, this length will be equal to this length, and the hypotenuse would have a length of A radical 2. Okay? Now, do we know any of these three values in this unit circle? We sure do. We know that the hypotenuse or the radius is equal to 1. So over here, we're going to say a radical 2 is equal to 1. We'll solve for the a. We'll divide both sides by radical 2. So we'll get a is equal to 1 over radical 2. Remember, we don't want a denominator of a uh, as a radical, so we're going to divide by radical 2 over radical 2, which is just 1, so it doesn't really change anything, does it? And then we'll get a is equal to 1 radical 2 over radical 4, which is the same thing as radical 2 over just 2. So now we know that our x distance is radical 2 over 2, and our y distance is radical 2 
over 2. Now, the third thing we wanted to do is we noticed that which quadrant we're in. And remember, since we're in the first quadrant, both the x and the y values are positive. Okay, so we're going to make x radical 2 over 2 positive and the y x radical 2 over 2 is positive and there's our coordinate at that distance. Now remember what I said. This value down here is just the distance along the x-axis. That's what the radical 2 over 2 is. And this distance is the distance along the y-axis, which is the value right here. And again, they're both positive. Okay, now you're going to do that at each one of these other locations as well. Um, yeah, let's do one real quickly. Let's just do this one over here, okay? So we have 4 pi over 3. We're just going to go through these same steps. So I'm going to say 4 pi over 3 divided by pi times 180 will give me a number of degrees, remember. Multiply by the reciprocal, and I get 4 pi over 3 times 1 over pi times 180, number of degrees. Those cancel, and I get 4 times 180 divided by 3, which is 720, divided by 3, okay, which is actually 200, I believe it's 230, let me just do that real quickly, 240. So the number of degrees there is 240 degrees, whoops, there we go, at this location, okay? So at where pi, uh, 4 pi over 3 is located, that's 240 degrees. However, there's no 240 degree triangle, is there? But what I can do, again, is drop my line directly to the y-axis, and I will have a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Again, this is the same thing. Drop this line straight over here, and we have it down here. So we have a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. <clears throat> Remember that the formula for a 30, 60, 90 is if this is A, the hypotenuse would be 2A, and this x, y value here would be A radical 3. Just the same thing we did over here. We're going to say that the hypotenuse is equal to 1, because that's my unit circle. So 2A is equal to 1, which means that A is equal to 1 half which is this value here, which is the x coordinate, right? Now, the, the interesting thing is we have to determine which quadrant we're in, and we're in the first, second, third quadrant. And remember, in the third quadrant, both the x and the y are negative. Okay, so we're going to say at this location, the a is going to be a negative one-half, and the b, or excuse me, the y, is going to be a negative one-half radical three, or just radical negative radical three over two. Okay, I hope this was helpful.